that would have been really good if it didn't fall off and I'm recording cool. I don't know if I want to wear these. I look fucking dumb. Yo guys. No. Okay. These are slightly better. I'm such a mess, why am I doing this? Why not try to upload twice a week for the whole year? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Right, so you're probably wondering, hey Beth, why are you wearing those cool snazzy glasses? Well, it's because I had eye surgery. If I put something cool on my face, it will distract a little bit from the disgustingness that is my eye currently. I don't know, how are we doing? Also, how do we like the Dragon Ball shirt? I think it's really cute. It's a little bit wrinkled because I've been doing stuff today. But I really like it. Now, I thought I'd go ahead and do a little get to know me tag. So, um... Gotta be honest, finding one was very difficult. There's so many different ones. There are some that are 50 questions, there are some that are 100, but um, I'm really lazy. So, oh, you can kind of see it in the reflection. That's cool. Um, if you can see it in the reflection, I'm sorry. Let's move it here. I grew up in the same place I'm still currently living. It's a small town just off of Bristol. Where do you currently live? Shows who didn't read through the questions. So I still live at home with my mum currently, but I'm hoping to move out within the next year or so. That is my best friend. I am five five and a half, although I suspect I'm five six. Ooh, this is a good one. Cats or dogs? Cats, 110%. I was scared of dogs until probably the age of nine or ten because I was attacked by one when I was little and I've just never liked them. I like them now, like don't get me wrong, I'd very much be open to getting a pet dog sometime in the future, but I'm always going to be a cat person ultimately. Leaving. So I'm a 2000s baby, yeah. That makes me 19 currently of recording this, my zodiac sign is i'm talking about chinese zodiac is dragon i was born in the year of the dragon i really like zodiac so that's kind of my thing no currently well i'm assuming they're referring to university so i've done college i did two years on a performing arts course and i am i'm gonna start uni in september to go and do a commercial dance course for three years and then that will be an end to my formal education on. I don't really know what my favourite drink is. I traditionally drink a lot of water. Like, hydration is key. I'm one of those girls. Um, I drink a lot of water, a lot of squash. But ultimately, I'm really enjoying Malibu and Coke. Gotta be honest, I love a good Malibu and Coke. It's currently a favourite, although I'm, I don't know. Fizzy drink wise, I've really gotten into kind of cherry tasting things. It's like the very cherry pitcher of spoons was really good, but they changed it to absolute vodka. And now it's not as good. Like it just doesn't taste as nice. I preferred when it was Smirnoff. So I've really been getting into the Luxe cherry flavour. Like I've never had it before, but my boyfriend brought it over and I tried some, and I'm kind of obsessed. 
What is your spare animal and why? A sloth, because I am lazy as hell and I take forever to do everything. I think if I asked anybody, um, they'd all agree with me, like, without a doubt. I'm probably one of the laziest people known to man and I will take every liberty not to do something and if I do end up doing it, I will find the most ridiculous way to do it that involves me doing the least amount to get it complete. I just kind of realised I look like Elton John. Don't really wear perfume, but if I do, I am wearing the Machino Fresh. Fresh Couture. It smells really fresh, shocking, and it looks like a spray bottle, so it's even cooler. Like, this is my signature smell. I absolutely love it. As you can see, I've gotten quite a way through. Tea or coffee? Neither. Tea doesn't do anything, coffee tastes bad. Oops. Controversial, I know. Ooh, this is one I could talk about for a while. What are your life goals? So, I have quite a few life goals. I would... Ultimately, my goal is to be a tour dancer. So, I'd love by the age of 30 to have been on at least one or two tours. By that, I mean, like, I would love to be a backup dancer for kind of musical acts and artists like Katy Perry, Rihanna, Melanie Martinez, those kind of artists, or do award shows and dance in kind of commercial sense. I'm also moving away from the traditional kind of musical cruise ship, those kinds of vibes. I've never really been interested in that side of before. Live in Japan. I'd like to live in America for a little bit. I'd like to travel the world. Um, I'd like to have had a baby. Maybe have a few babies. Just to be happy ultimately and wake up every day feeling like I'm not sad. Which sounds a lot worse than it is, but coming from someone with depression, it's a big deal. You may have also noticed I'm not currently wearing eyebrows. It's because I'm not allowed to do anything that could aggravate my face. See, I could do this, but then I'd look stupid. <laughs> none, none, and none. Do Mary and Sonic at the Winter Olympics count? Three, two, one, go! Yeah! <laughs> Look there. Because it helped me pass my English GCSE. Uh, otherwise, no. Uh, I have been reading, but there's nothing that I've gotten to that's been so momentous and so incredible that I thought, yes, this makes me want to change my way of living. However, I'd love to find a book that is that inspirational and can help me feel that amazing that I want to make some form of change. I have a few. Firstly, it's Who Framed Roger Rabbit? which came out in 1988, I believe. I used to watch it with my dad a lot, so it has quite a lot of sentiment there. And for the time, it was a very revolutionary movie, and I just love it. Like, the characters are cool, the storyline's really interesting, and just all of it, I thought, was really interesting growing up, and it's still one of my absolute favorites. Kind of sticking with Disney, I guess, Beauty and the Beast, but the 2017 remake, because I don't care what people say, I know the Emma Watson scene voice isn't the best, but I love it. Uh, definitely not because of Luke Evans. Mm -mm. Uh, ooh, Mulan. I love Mulan. Mulan was my childhood Disney princess. Um, if I'm feeling in like a girly mood or I'm sad, Clueless. I will watch Clueless on repeat day in, day out. It is one of my absolute favourites. I don't know why, it's a girly, ditzy, great movie that I will watch until the day I die. 
not. So my favourite YouTubers are Helen Anderson, Pixie Locks, Jessie Page, uh, let's go, Will and E. And then Slash and Mimulus, because they're essentially the same person. And then let's go, Sidemen. Those are my favourite YouTubers at the moment. I do, but I don't. So I pass Spanish, and uh, that doesn't mean I can speak it. Thanks, you taught me nothing in those five years I had you as a teacher. Taken, <laughs> I've been in a relationship for three years. <laughs> oh, my bad. I might have to Google the definition. Comedy, am I right? Um, my dream date. I really like just kind of walking around and exploring, so maybe, I don't know, going to like a new city that I've never been before, or hopping on a plane and going somewhere for the day. Lazy. I'm lazy. Lazy, 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 lazy. Um, I'm very chill. I'd say 90s is kind of my thing right now. Um, I'm very much just about pairing like a big shirt with a pair of jeans and some light accessories. I love having one statement item. So say for example, if I'm wearing all black, I'll have a brightly colored uh, coat or vice versa with shoes. I love to have one statement item and that be it. I don't like to kind of mix match with patterns and designs and fabrics. I'm very much kind of safe in the sense that I will have one big item and the rest will kind of work as an ensemble. Oh, I missed one. How long is your longest relationship? This one that I'm currently in. It will be four years in December. Oh, I missed one. How long is your longest relationship? This one that I'm currently in. It will be four years in December. I'm not very good at buns. I thought I'd do like a cute little like messy bun as opposed to like a horrible right at the back hurt your brain kind of ballet bun. It doesn't look particularly great. Um, Either that or I just keep my hair down, I brush it, my hair's straight, I just go with that or I'll put it up in a ponytail if it's really getting on my nerves that day. Zero, I'm an only child. Woo -woo. Probably nugs, just chicken nuggets. I love chicken. I live off chicken, chicken is my thing. So nuggies, probably just some chicken nuggets. I really love the spicy nugs from McDonald's. I know that's controversial. Most people say they're not even spicy. I know they're not spicy, but they taste so good. I use a PC. So I actually use a laptop, which I've had for a good few years. It's still treating me well. I mainly use it just to play Sims, but you know, it's good as well. A lot comes to mind, but probably going to New York for the first time and exploring all of the areas I've always wanted to go to. Uh, there was one day we went to the Statue of Liberty. We did 9-11 Memorial. We went shopping. We went to go and see Kinky Boots. We went to the Beetle House for food. Changing my answer. In the morning, get ready. Yoga, then breakfast before work but I don't really have a night routine. Probably. I'm not aware of any bad habits I have. I'll talk to myself sometimes. But like in the sense of I'll be like, okay, so I've got to go there and I've got to do this and I've got to do that and then I've got to do this, this and that. I would say I'm a fucking loser. But um, it's quite obvious, judging by my room and my appearance, that I'm a big old loser. Um, again, I would say that I was a hardcore emo less than five years ago, but again, I feel like that's somewhat obvious. Ooh, I know. 
I regularly hang out with some of the most popular DJs in the country that you guys probably would know like radio DJs and stuff. So hopefully you guys got to know a little bit about me. I'd like to know a little bit more about you. And if you'd like to stick around and subscribe, that'd be really cool. I promise I do more interesting content than this. At least I like to think so. I just thought I'd do kind of like a chilling out, sitting down video for the sake of it. Because, again. Then my camera died. Oh, I'm sorry. See you guys next time.